Hey YouTube, Puffy Water Chicken here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Figma Mikasa Ackerman figure from Attack on Titans, number 203. Here's the box real quick. I guess I'll do it from back here since it's close up. It gets one window, and there's the back. And on the fronts and the sides, or the top and the sides, there's just some pictures. Not much to it. Pretty cool box though. So, before I say anything, this figure looks great. It has an amazing sculpt, amazing articulation. Pretty much everything about it and everything about all the Figma figures are great. It's one of my favorite brands. If you like the series or if you think the figure's cool, you should definitely buy it. And then secondly, I happen to buy a bootleg. So I know that Figma makes really great figures because I have other Figma figures, but I've also handled bootlegs with other companies, and I know for a fact this is one of them. So I'll try to go over the review without joints falling off or bagging on that too much, but you can still see what the figure looks like and all of its accessories because they are the same as that come with the real one. So first of all, it comes with a lot of hands. It comes with the one it's holding, or the ones that are on it that are holding the swords. It comes with another pair that can hold the swords but completely closed. These ones have two fingers out to hold the trigger. Two open hands, two just on your side hands, and two hands that are in fists and they come with this lovely stand again with the bootlegs on my other figma figures they stick on there very well but they're sliding off because they're not very well made but it does come with this and it has little clips for all of the extra hands it comes with these two hooks that you can shoot out and they clip in right here it's a pretty cool feature they come with these extra pieces for the stand, I'm not really sure why those are very useful, but I guess you could use them. It came with an extra piece for the hand, an extra joint. That does get a little bit of bending in it. It came with this extra collar that you can replace the scarf with. These two air examples, or whatever you would call them, to stick on right here when this clip shoot out. It comes with three faces, the one she's wearing, which is gritting her teeth, this one kind of more of an anime angry face, and then this one just her regular face. It comes with this, this attaches to the stand right here, and then this part attaches to her back right on the omnidirectional gear right up here. There's a little piece that just clips off and then you just attach it onto there and again because it's a bootleg it's not very tight so it just falls off if I try to put it on but on the real Figma figure I'm sure that would work amazingly and then the back of the stand just clips into there so you can it's pretty cool because then she can be in her flying flying motion it comes with these extra strings for the hooks or to make it look like she's shooting hooks and they attach in there too and then they have more strings with actual hooks big hooks again they can actually attach so moving on the, and also this cloak can come off and the heads how you replace them you just take off the hair right here and then take off a face put another face on there and then stick the hair back on and that's it and this cloak comes off and the cloak is pretty cool. It has, first of all, it's very pretty poseable, so it doesn't really get in the way. And it has this that goes over the hole in her back for the stand, so you can have her on the stand whether she's in cloak or not. The head gets a lot of movement. comes off really easily, at least on mine. But again, I think that's probably because of the bootleg. The scarf can come off, like I said, to switch with that collar or the cloak. And here, I'll go ahead and take all this stuff off. It's really cool. The uh, omnidirectional gear, it looks great. Just like the show. And they do get a little bit of movement. They are on... Here, you can't really see it from there. They are on little joints that attach right there into her leg. There's a small hole there. So I'll go ahead and take all this stuff off. And then there's another hole in her back right under her jacket for it to clip in. So, here's the omnidirectional gear. Very stringy and loose, 
but once you get it on it's fine right here is the attachments for the clips and then the omnidirectional gear it looks upside down it took me a minute to figure out all you have to do is go like that and then stick it on these swords don't actually come out but it's still a cool feature to have them look like they do and then these strings attached they can come and attach the sword you can unattach them of course I would hope you'd be able to but that is some pretty cool gear and the stand basic figma stand moves right there it can twist that's where it attaches to the stand it comes off just like that and it moves up here and up here and attaches into the back like I showed you alright the figure I bet would normally stand very well because all my other figures from Figma do but this one's a bootleg so can't really stand up all that well and all of its joints are extremely loose so just don't mind if they fall off so she has a nice stomach joint right there head joint like I showed you earlier the shoulders have some really good movement as well Figma does a great job of doing that and when I say bootleg they are bootlegs they're fake they're, uh, the Figma didn't technically make them but they just stole the molds from Figma so this is the figure all the accessories are the same all the joints are the same they're just made out of a different material her arms bend right there at the elbow they go back a little bit they twist of course the hands too they're pretty much all in the same kind of joints so they get a lot of motion and they twist she tw or she doesn't twist but they um the skirt here has a little cut in it on both sides so that it doesn't restrict I'm trying to get there we go so it doesn't restrict her leg movement so she can get a lot of movement there oh wow a lot of movement up a lot of movement back her legs twist right there the knees get a lot of movement as well and the ankles twist they go up and down and then the toes also go up and down and at a pretty good angle too so anyways it's a great figure Figma is a great company I would definitely recommend it but just be careful when you're buying it I should have paid more attention to detail the description said made in China not imported from Japan that should have been a dead giveaway and it was only twenty six dollars even though the release price is like forty so I was dumb in buying this but it was cheap so you know why not if you don't have the money it's still okay it's not a terrible figure it's just not quite the Figma standard that I would hope for but it's still a great figure so I hope you like the review please subscribe and thank you for watching